Welcome to Jason Whiskey Wise. My name is Jason. Welcome to Whiskey Review into the Glen Scotia Double Cask. And today we're going to be reviewing pretty much also the Glen Scotia range. So if this is the first video you're catching and it's uploaded today, we've got four other videos into Glen Scotia. Now it's a distillery in Campbelltown, one of the regions which used to be the largest producing region in Scotland. And now they're pretty much the one of the smallest with only three distilleries left being Glen Scotia, Springbank and Glen Gyle being the three distilleries. And they bottle the whiskey at Glen Gyle called Kilcarran. Now, in terms of Glen Scotia's double cask, I actually got a glass. I went to the distillery last year and just, it was so magical. And I can't wait to go back. Hopefully two or three months time from when I'm recording this right now, I should be back in Campbelltown. Now, the double cask is an NAS whiskey. It's a non-edge stated. Bottled at 46%. The cask selection of this one are first fill bourbon barrels. I believe it stays for that and it's most of its maturation. And then it's finished off in Pedro Jimenez Sherry Cask for around about 12 months. So it does have a very interesting long finish in PX barrels. Now in terms of the actual overall distillery, it's the Glen Scotia Distillery. It's just so beautiful. They've got a lot of blossom trees outside. Uh, <laughs> the actual parent company for that is the Loch Lomond Group. And they are located in the Campbelltown region of Scotland. And it's one of those regions, it does take around about a three hour drive if you are going from Glasgow, or you can take a ferry, but the drive is so picturesque and you'll see the weather change every two minutes, which I pretty much just loved. Because <laughs> it's something different than just rain. And here in London today, it is 28 degrees. And it's kind of pushing one of those points where it's very hot here in London. But anyway, getting back to the whiskey, in terms of the actual price, on um, that large bottle over there, it's around about 38 pounds here in the United Kingdom. That's for a full size bottle. These are miniatures and I will cover those in every video following from this. Um, but it's 38 pounds. Some places in the UK here, you can actually find it in supermarkets for even 25 pounds and even 30 pounds. So sometimes you can get really good deals as an entry level whiskey from Campbelltown and also being 46%. But in terms of exclusivity, it is not exclusive. It's their core expression and you should be able to find it everywhere. I've been told it is in Canada and it is also in some parts of Asia, which is quite cool. They're working on bigger distribution. Now, in terms of the whiskey itself, I believe it might be natural color. However, there might also be artificial. I've got to check that German website, but without further ado, let's just get straight into the tasting notes. I can't wait to dive into this one. It's no into the nose. So to begin on the nose for the Glen Scotia Double Cast, you're starting out with a nice, soft and refreshing dram. I'm getting this nice sweeter character. It's almost like vanilla fudge, but it's making my mouth water just actually nosing this whiskey. There is even a dried fruity aspect and I'm thinking dried apricots. A little bit of green apples. Sugared almonds. <laughs> I'm even getting um, peaches, but peaches not in just not like that, but actually tin peaches, which come in like almost like a syrup. That sort of sweetness coming through with a peach and a nice sweet sort of almost syrupy sauce. There is that maritime character and it's very distinctive. This distillery is actually very close to the port in Campbelltown. So if you do go and visit, you'll see it's literally just like you throw a stone from the distillery to the actual port if you throw it over the distillery. And you do have also this little note over there of a musty, almost like a dunnage. And it's, for me, it reminds me when I was in the dunnage of when I was standing next to the PX barrels. It just gives you that little sweetness that goes into the air, that angels share, and that little sweetness. And there's even a note underneath this of what reminds me of a clay pot. that's just been sitting there and you put your head and you just nose it. I did that in India, but it was, it just reminds me of almost like a clay pot. <sighs> Such a great nose. Let's get into the palette next, Slanger. Arrival onto the palette for the Glen Scotia double cast. The actual texture starts out almost like a medium texture, but then it develops. And the trick behind this whiskey, roll it all around the palette. Let it coat everywhere. And then you're going to start to see this character of this whiskey start to develop. It becomes a bit more richer, a bit more viscous as you're rolling it around the palette. Instant character you're getting is that maritime, that briny little salty character accompanied by a sort of sour, tangy red cherries. You're then following this one up by a little character of even sweet raisins. And this is fresh, sweet raisins. It's not these dried raisins that get 
very sort of bitter and tannic. This is sweet raisins, almost the ones you get in the little packets. You can then get a little bit of that vanilla character following its way through. And you are also getting a little bit of that musty character, just a faint character of that coming on the palate. But then as you sort of go past that, now I'm getting a little bit of black currant, as if you had black currant juice, and you're getting that sort of essence on the palate. It's quite a lot of these berry characters coming through, and now it's overlaid with a slight little bit of black tea. And it's not dry in the palate, but you can feel it almost as you get that little character, almost like a oolong tea. I tried one of those when I was Taiwan, and it just reminds me instantly of that, of an oolong tea. And then I'm getting a little sort of sherbetty character. I want to say lemon. I'm going to say lime. It's like a lime sherbet. It sort of then just has a little fizzle at the back of the palate. And that just comes out of nowhere. It was kind of surprising. So I'm going to say lime sherbet over there. And then it goes a little bitter. Right on the back end. Not a horrible bitter, but like a bitter dark chocolate. Maybe 80%, 90%. Not really full on and powerful, but just a slight character of that sort of cacao dark chocolate. That's about it for the palette. Let's get into the finish next. Into the finish. So from the finish of this whiskey, I held it there a bit longer. I rolled it around and played with this whiskey a little bit just to really find out the finish behind the entry level from Glen Scotia. And the overall finish of this whiskey, you get a little bit of spiced oak, spiced orange, almost like raisins and prunes, a bit of a fruitcake mix, almost chewy. And as it sinks into the taste buds on the, on the tongue, not really on the side, but more on the tongue. And that spice then really just reactivates itself and comes out. Overall though, in terms of my opinions on the Glen Scotia double cast, I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna give my rating and my rating is going to be a 90 out of 100. Now, Reason behind that, I just find this whiskey really just, it offers complexity. It's a no age statement. It's 46%, but the complexity that this one offers is just so enjoyable. And at the price point, value for money, if you can pick this up for 30 pounds, even 35 pounds, 25 pounds here in the UK, um, and if you're in America, it's like $40 tops, you're picking up yourself a fantastic whiskey. I'd even pay up to, well, actually I'm not gonna say that because I don't want the company raising the price, but I'm going to say it's great value for money. <laughs> I don't want to say anything more because I don't want it to go up in price. And um, I really rec I really say Glen Scotia have done a fantastic job on the entry level whiskey. It's got nice flavors, that punchiness, that little bit of spice, the fruity character. And it's all embodied with a lot of complexity in the entry level whiskey. So I'm looking forward to trying some of the others from Glen Scotia. Uh, but 90 out of 100 is my final score. Let me know your thoughts. If you tried Glen Scotia's down below in the comment section, if you've tried the double cast. But on that note, this has been me, Jason Whiskey Wise. If you have enjoyed the video, drop it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. And I'll leave some other videos on the screen here. And until then, I'll catch you for the next video. Whoop, slanger.